Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update. We're uh, third quarter 2020, and I uh, wanted to show you guys how Bio Dude Houston's doing. We've expanded a lot. Um, I'm not doing a full tour today. It's just gonna be real quick. Look what we started doing. So if you're ever in the area, come visit my store Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4, or Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at the Bio Dude Houston. You can visit my website, biodude.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. So we started selling live animals. So we've been doing this for a couple months now, and we're selling mainly only captive bred stock with relationships, getting these animals from uh, good relationships that we've had for many breeders for over the years. We are bringing in some wild caught things, but the wild caught things, we're taking extra steps to ensure that they're healthy. And I kind of wanted to go over with you some of the critters that we're offering for sale here. So I'm gonna start down here. So Remarkably, we have some captive bred children's pythons right down here. As you can see now, these are the smallest python to Australia, from Australia in the Anateresia genus. Now, we actually have two of these guys left. And if you've ever had uh, small pythons before, you, you know that they're bold uh, and, you know, and awesome, beautiful iridescence and a really, really cool species of snake to keep. We also got in some beautiful albino Nelson milk snakes, of course, they're all captive bred. Now, one thing that we do a little bit different with our, with our animals, uh, we keep complete distinct logs of everything, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in a little bit. So we have some of the Nelsons in here. So as you can see, all the, all the critters are being kept on our biodude soils. You can see them right here, Audrey, or Christina, check it out. Uh, and we want them to, you know, be as comfortable as possible here. Uh, before we sell any snakes, we make sure that they've had, um, they are eating consistently frozen thawed. If they're eating live, we make sure to let, you know, anybody know in regards to that. Uh, we also, down over here, we have some captive bred uh, tree frogs. First tree frog we have is called a masked tree frog. Now these mass tree frogs, they're very uh, unique in the aspect of, they can be a lot of different colors. Uh, they remind me of the pouch frogs from Madagascar. And you, you guys can hear my dogs, hi Lucy, calm it down, calm it down. So you guys come to the bio dude, you'll always see Lucy and Pat, almost always see Lucy and Padfoot here. Uh, you know, guarding my place, preventing robbers from coming in here. Yeah, we got this guy up here. I'm trying to find some of the other ones. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, look at them all in here. So they have like the small hourglass on their back. Now these are these guys are an awesome species. And again, they're captive bred. So you don't see this species very often for being captive bred. We have them for only $40. We also have by some captive bred red eye tree frogs uh, produced here by yours truly. Uh, and uh, these guys, we have hundreds of babies coming out of the water, hundreds, plus hundreds of tadpoles. Oh, look at that. Look at them all right here. Oh, look how fat they are. So we'll almost always have captive bred red-eyed tree frogs, um, Borneo-eared frogs, and some other stuff here at the Bio Dude. Here we also have like some of the information. They're intermediate. The dude recommends for this species. We recommend uh, ter Terraflora. You know, temperature around 70, humidity 60, 70%, what type of things they're eating. And then we'll also give the clients a care sheet, which I'll show you guys how we get that instantly. You're going to edit that out. Okay, cool. We also have some crested geckos, some oscillated skinks. So these oscillated skinks were also produced by yours truly. You'll see a bunch of these guys out here basking. A more uncommon species you don't see every day. We also have a good amount of cresties in here, you know, all captive bred crested geckos uh, from breeders locally here in Houston that BioDude's been working with, and they, they are so cute. I mean, look at these guys. Let me tell you, I got to tell you, the, well, one of the most, the most animals that people look for when they come here to the BioDude are the cresties. You guys can also see my new magnetic ledges here. So the, these are the dude's new lizard ledges. Um, I'm waiting on Christina to get my box done, but the magnets are not glued on and they're interchangeable colors. So it's a little bit different than what you guys are used to from me, but I think it's going to make having ledges a little bit easier because they're at least easier to clean and then you can remove the magnets. Uh, 
In here, we have some captive bred dart frogs. We have some of the Costa Rican green and black eroticas, and we have a captive bred pair of Nicaraguan blue jean pomilio. So again, these are all for sale here, and I will always have this variety. This dart frog tank's been going for a while. As you can see, the creeping fig is just taking over. We got an Aspicia in here that's going, that's just flowering and looking great. And we actually sold a bunch of a, oh, there goes one right down there. We sold a bunch of the eroticas today. I'm not sure how many are exactly left. As you can see, we ravaged this tank and that's okay because this Aspicia is out of control. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful little critter. Okay. Going in here. There we go. All right. Now for the blue jeans. Let me see if I can find them. These guys probably not going to find. Uh, maybe they'll be out later. So we got some captive bred cinnamon tree frogs up here. And uh, the cinnamons, uh, they're uh, actually all kind of right, right around here. I'm not going to be able to get them out to show to you guys. We have about four of them. Some captive bred morning geckos. These are actually from uh, the Hawaii locale, I believe. Uh, and we have a lot of them. And you can see them here crawling up against the wall. We have one little one keeping his head out there. And if you look at the back wall there, trying to keep the glass clean. These guys are, uh, you know, really, really popular. And again, they're all being kept on, on, on bio the way that we recommend. All the lights here have UVB with the critters that need it. All of them are, have their proper hot spots. We go through with a solar meter once a month. We're checking levels, uh, making sure that everyone's getting what they need. We have some captive bred dumpies in here. Yes, I love me some dumpies. So these are just the normal Australians, um, you know, uh, which are, you know, your, your, your greens. You might get an occasional blue. Uh, and we have more crusties up here with, with the, uh, with the uh, lizard ledge. So this is what you're seeing these critters being kept on. This is called an Exoterra Terraplex, which these are manufactured in Europe. I'm actually gonna start selling these, these whole things here um, on my website to ship via wholesale, as well as the ability to sell them here at point of sale. Turnaround time is about eight weeks, and they come with the tanks. It's nice stuff, guys. Exoterra does good work. So we also have some captive bred Borneo eared frogs. So if you've ever seen the Borneos before, these guys are really cool. They have a really unique cryptic coloration. I always say they are the, the if Giorgio Pseudolucalis would have a frog, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens frog, it would be these guys. Uh, because they are a great species to, a great species to work with. They're not afraid to be out during the day. We have some adorable little bearded dragons down here. We have a lot of different kinds. So we, we only keep four babies in this size. And the only reason that they're in the tank this size is because these guys are a little smaller. Normally we'd have them in a 36, 18, 18. Uh, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, these four beardies will be here less than a week. Uh, and, and, you know, we keep, we keep the babies on bio. We're not afraid to tell people that with proper husbandry, you have nothing to worry about, especially with the roaches, smaller roaches and things that we feed from a dish. Um, and this is just to give you a little bit of a, you know, they have their hot spot, they have their UVB, and we have a plant light going all the way across. You can see we're also providing UVB to our Borneo eared frogs, which um, a lot of your... Uh, a lot of your Borneos, your Chinese gliders, they need the UVB exposure because, believe it or not, they like to bask a little bit, just like your Australian dumpies do. We have some captive bred leopard geckos. So we have a lot of different types of leopards. We have albinos. We have, uh, you know, the, the tramper critters. And we have, so, and we have some, so, some normal ones. And, Christina, if you want to come in here, you can see the little one sticking his head out there. Yeah. But, but these guys are these guys are cute. I love I love I really like the leopard geckos because they're super personable. Like with their faces, you can always tell if they're angry or you know or what's going on. Come on, come on out, out with you. I'm not trying to scare you, but I want you to come out. Go there we go. There we go. Oh no, we had a second. And we had, we had another one. Okay, we'll edit that out. We tried. Okay, we got some tomato frogs. 
Now we've had, I got a big group of these guys in like a couple months ago, two months. And we got them in, they were the size of a dime. Now with the tender loving care of the bio dude, the few that remain are just giant blobs of joy. I mean, look, look at these things. I love tomato frogs. I mean, I'm not gonna touch you cause I just messed with the Borneo. There we go. Just got the, the stuff off. Okay, make sure we're good. So we actually have a total of four left in here and some of them are getting some size. It's pretty, pretty awesome frogs. If you've never had a sedentary frog and you want to choose between this or a Pac-Man frog, I'll pick a tomato frog every time. We have some more captive bred oscillateds down here. Uncommon, we have some Chinese cave geckos. Now these guys, cool, cool critters. They scare easy, but with the right type of setup, they'll do really well. So it's remarkable, yeah, see, it did not take him long. They have like orange eyes. There you go, I'm sorry. And there we go. In with you, go. When they wanna move, they wanna move. We have, this is for some, some blue tongue skinks, which, so the blue tongues, when we get, when we get our blue tongues, we have them go through a long time period of being wormed. Uh, get, uh, we get them on some of the bluey buffet with some of the pro bugs mixed in as, as a supplement to their insect diet. Uh, and so to make sure that they are a great weight and everything. So we normally have some beautiful, uh, some be beautiful blueys here uh, of the Indonesian. Uh, so we have a group of five right now that we are working with getting them up to, up to par. Uh, so we also have, when we do have them, we sell them for, for, for two fifty. We just, we ha we put three up for sale on Friday. All three of them were gone Saturday by, by two o'clock. Emerald Swift, super underappreciated. Um, we sell these guys at 40 bucks a piece. They're live bears. Now, like, so these are one of the few wild caught reptiles that I have here. Um, and they are agamids. So like other agamids, they're quick and they are not afraid to, you know, to let you know that they're unhappy with you. Uh, the males, they're sexually dimorphic like I did in my last video. So I'm pretty sure one of the girls was, is pregnant because she's getting huge and she's dark. Okay, here we go. Milkies, captive bred milkies. We got captive bred milkies. Let me tell you something, guys. If you want an awesome frog, and if you want a frog that's messy, get some, get some milky tree frogs. And you know, you can set these guys up with an awesome water area with cork tubes standing uh, vertical in the water and they will breed in those tubes. Massive clutches. Tadpoles are expensive to raise though. We also got some cool snakes down here. So I don't know if any of them are gonna be out right now because we actually just ate today. So we're most likely all gonna be hiding. So we have uh, a Hypobruxii king snake right here. Now, surprisingly, this guy's almost always out all the time. Captive bred, of course. We have a captive speckled king snake right here. Um, and then we have some captive bred Okati corn, uh, corn snakes. Now I wanna see if I can find the corns because you know I have Nagini and Fierce and I love corn snakes. They're an awesome, awesome critter to have. Um, I just um, don't think I'm gonna find them. Sorry guys, but you know, just something to, to keep the eye out. And again, these aren't designed to be permanent enclosures. They're just enclosures to, you know, to keep them here until they find their new homes. Uh, we also have a small station over here. Look at this bum. And it's, it's, I'm taking this time because it's been busy, 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 busy. Okay. So we actually started offering some tadpole kits with some red-eye tree frogs and Borneo eared frogs. Um, you know, so we got some Borneo eared frog tadpoles in here. I have hundreds in the back and uh, we also have some red-eyed tree frog tadpoles. And then the kits include everything kind of like 
kind of like what you see. Um, and if you guys were wondering how the, Josh, remember that red eye croc skink video you did with Robin? Here's that tank. It's, it's turning out, it's one of my favorites. Just to show you guys. So this is all my terraflora with my hydro grow drainage layer. Look at this oak fig. So I'm expecting this fig to completely encompass all of this cork. I am working on getting my moss spore mix eventually established up here so that I have thick, lush green moss growing up here. And it's nice and dense, exactly what croc skinks like with the, with the bird's nest fur and the rattlesnake calathea and the sanservia there in the back. And that sanservia does act as a little water retention pool at times before the water eventually drains, which is a great opportunistic zone for your herps, providing water and things like that. Plenty of different uh, tubes in there, or hives for him to be. Of course, all powered by the BioDude Glow and Grow. And last but not least, let's see where we can make an end note. And I think it's going to be right here. So as you know, almost all my critters breed here at the BioDude. Uh, you can see this is a, a recent spawning from my uh, Borneo eared frogs. So this is, you guys remember when the Borneo eared frogs were in the 36, 18, 18? Well, they got an upgrade um, because I ended up purchasing some more females since I lost all my females from Hurricane Harvey uh, from the frog lady. And let me tell you, her quality of frogs is outstanding. She does great work. You can find her on Facebook. So what's really cool about these guys is that they are foam nesters. So you can actually see the foam right here. And then you can, you can also see you know, eggs in the back. And we have all life stages of tadpoles. You can see this is a residual nest. You can see the hole in which the tadpoles chewed out from the bottom. You can see residual dead eggs. You can see what's left. It looks like expired great stuff. But there is tadpoles of all life stages living in this vivarium. There is many, many adult Borneo eared frogs living in this vivarium that are just doing great. You can see, um, Next to that big hunk of poo, you can see a tadpole right there. Pretty small. There you go. You can see a tadpole right down here, munching on some of the debris. With the water movement, it's gotta be pretty rich. You can see I'm using a solar grow, uh, solar grow, blah. I'm using my super grow. This is the base Metalla. And since Metalla is not really ascertainable as much as I'd like it to be, I'm using this version, which is my super grow, which is pond filter pads. Uh, but you can buy it from me by the foot at as reasonable as I can make it. And, you know, these guys got the idea. It is almost closing time. It's around 3.30, so we're working on getting stuff done. Feel free to come in and say hi to Patty and Lulu. Come here, say hi to me, Josh Owner, here at the Bio Dude. We'll always have tons of captive bred animals here, as well as beautiful, dewormed, guaranteed, healthy, vet-checked animals. And that's the last thing I want to show you guys. Bio dude, why should I buy an animal from you? Because we keep an extensive database of every single animal here. So just for an example, uh, you can see this is some of the animals that we have here in our showroom. And then we also have uh, animals that are not for sale. So we're going to click on the children's pythons. You can see here we have a picture of the cage, and then from there we are able to look at the entire schedule throughout the entire, uh, throughout the entire week to know what needs done. And what's really nice, you can have incidents, we can upload vet visits. It's just a really, really good platform for us to make sure that we're documenting you know, when they're eating, if they're eating, um, if they're not eating, what do we need to do to get them eating. And then if you as a buyer want that information, you know, it, 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 it's available to you. Uh, and of course, all of our animals come with a, with, with a guarantee. Uh, and of course, we'll give you the best husbandry advice that we can because that's what we do here at the BioDude Houston. I really appreciate you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching my channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified when we release new content. Check out my other videos and let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to visit thebiodude.com and to visit us at our point of sale Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the BioDude Houston to find all of your bioactive needs to help your animals be healthier and happier. The dude abides.